I, uh, I would like to say something about our young people. For the, uh, you know, I retired in 1980 from U.S. government service and so forth, and ever since that time, I've been talking to schools, and I've been talking to grade schools, I've been talking to uh, you know, high schools and colleges and intermediate schools, and I've talked to the military academy in Washington, uh, West Point, and to the Air Force Academy in uh, Pueblo, or in uh, Palm, <laughs> Colorado Springs, right. And uh, I have the great ad admiration for these young people. Man, I tell you, th these young people know a lot more than we in World War II knew about our country, I mean, uh, about life, that is, than we ever knew because they get so much of it on television. The only thing is, a lot of this stuff on television is very rotten. And I'm sorry that they have to even you know, get to see it. But uh, on the other hand, they are very intelligent. They are very intelligent. Now I had, I, you know what really brought it to my attention was the fact that I was talking to some third graders and a little girl in the third grade said to Mr. Ehlers, how many Germans did you kill? And I said, well, honey, I didn't kill Germans. I, I wasn't, uh, I mean, she said, how many people did you kill? And I said, well, honey, I wasn't killing people. I said, I was only killing the enemy, and the, if I hadn't killed the enemy, they would have killed me, and I wouldn't be here talking to you. I said, that's how the war is. And so therefore, she didn't ask any more questions about how many people I killed. <laughs> and uh, the rest of the kids didn't ask either because they thought, well, that was a good answer. And that's, that's the truth, though. And uh, uh, I, think the, uh, I think the kids are great. I think they, they're thinking. And they've got a lot of, uh, they've got a, a lot of bad teachers, but uh, I, I, I got to say that we have some colleges, mainly on the East Coast, but anyway, that are teaching the wrong thing about our Did government. You're from California? We got them in California, too. Berkeley? But uh, we, got, uh, we got schools, Ivy League schools, that are teaching terrible things to our students. They're teaching that, uh, for instance, uh, a, a uh, Harvard student was down in Texas talking to the reporter one day, and he was telling them about, uh, he, was, uh, he was telling them about how uh, America attacked Japan. And he says uh, to the Harvard student, he said, well, have you ever heard of Pearl Harbor? He says, what's Pearl Harbor? That's how much he knew about Pearl Harbor. He didn't know anything about it. See, he doesn't know who attacked who, but he was teaching students that we attacked the, the, them. So, you know, that's something we gotta correct. We gotta, don't hurt to censor these teachers sometimes if they're teaching the wrong stuff. You know, ladies and gentlemen, we talk about inspiration. As, as Bob says, the young men and women serve this great country of ours. That, that inspires me every day of my life. But Another thing that inspires me is just walk around the city here and you see what the city stands for and what our forefathers started 233 years ago and what a great place we are today and that freedom is not free and we can must continue to keep our freedoms today because if you read your history books, almost every major nation or, or uh, of any type of the, the uh, Romans, the Greeks, the uh, Persians, every major nation in this world crumbled within because they gave up what this country stood for. And they wasn't that they were overtaken by an enemy force. They have gave away the values and what our country stood for. And us as Americans need to stay inspired, uh, every, each and every one of us, as Bob says. And if you can't get inspired by seeing these young men and women walking through the airports or walking out the store and looking at those monuments or going to the World War II Memorial or going to the Vietnam or the Korean Memorial or anybody else, you have a problem. You know, so th there should, there's so many things that should inspire you just to be able to walk out and be free, just to be able to walk around this great country of ours. But as I said before, we must stand up stead steadfast and stand for what this con Constitution stands for. Us as, as Americans, we have to raise our hands. We have to be the ones to stand up and hold it steadfast. Do you have a final question? Yes, sir. 
I'd like to ask the panel, oh, thank you. Uh, I'd like to ask the panel, based on my experience of getting off the airplane from uh, um, Vietnam and, and San Francisco and having these uh, beautiful flower children come up and spit in my face and having in with them the little booklet of the sayings of Chairman Mao. I wondered if it would be appropriate, if you, if you think, uh, to have teach um, at the appropriate uh, level uh, not only the sayings of Chairman Mao in their proper connects, but also of uh, Marx and Lenin so that they would recognize those principles when they start showing up piece by piece. You know, I, 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 you know we live in a free nation and uh, under God, and basically, I think this world's large enough for everybody to live any way you want to. You know, if if the terrorists would all want to stay in one country and just stay and do whatever they want to do and bring their country to that, I think that's fine. But you know, the thing is, our freedoms and this thing is the freedom of speech, the freedom of everything. And and was it right? No, it wasn't. Uh, I didn't go to Vietnam to worry about how I was treated when I came back. I wasn't looking for any parades. I wasn't looking, you know, for anything else. I'm just glad to see that our nation has turned around and we are doing the right thing, as Bob says. We're doing the right thing for these young men and women that's coming back today. And this country is a free country and everybody has the freedom of religion, as George was saying down there and Walt, and as, if you're a Muslim or if you're a Buddhist or anything else, do I agree with it? No, I don't. But this is a free country and we must let freedom ring, as we always said. Um, I, on final note, I'd like to thank all of you for sharing this afternoon with us and uh, to thank these gentlemen who, um, who are in, in the presence of living history. So thank you all for coming very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.